My name is Christopher Wagstaff. I'm a PhD student from the United States, and I'm a problem solver. I like looking at problems and trying to figure out unique ways to, um, to solve them, which is why I've chosen chemical engineering um, here at KAUST. So I'm in the chemical engineering program, as I explained, but I think a unique thing about KAUST that people don't quite realize is that we're more organized around centers. So there isn't really a chemical engineering office that I go to, but more often I go to the Clean Combustion Research Center office. Um, and so this provides a really collaborative atmosphere at KAUST, which I really enjoy. So KAUST is a very unique institution and there are many different things that attract students to KAUST, but I would say there are two things that really attracted me to KAUST. So the first thing is the very international community. Um, for my master's I was at Imperial College London and I really liked the international community there and so I wanted to do something similar. And then the second thing is something that's probably overlooked a lot. Um, in the United States all programs start in September and my master's ended in October and so I didn't want to wait 11 months before I could start my PhD and so I asked Kaust, can I start now? Um, and I said, yeah, basically we have uh, effectively enrollment uh, all year around. So I'm in the Clean Combustion Research Center and I work on the clean part, no combustion for me. Uh, I work on the cryogenic carbon capture project which I think is really fascinating and interesting because I think it has more potential than most uh, carbon capture schemes. So if I were to take two words to describe the campus community, I would say international and small. Like at the end of the day, this is a small college town. And so you kind of get some close knit friends uh, and you get all sorts of friends from all different countries. So my favorite resources are the core labs, which are centralized uh, resources for students and researchers and professors. And there are many administrators and help uh, who are very available because there are only a thousand students. So I and the subject librarian are pretty good friends. I send her lots of emails, ask her for lots of help, and I, I really enjoy that I don't need to wait in line very long. One thing that really surprised me is that uh, in the core labs, there is lots of equipment which is available to us students. When I was down there, I found out that there are 10 NMR machines. So think about that, for, a size of, for the size of our university, we have 10 NMRs. Uh, for my undergrad, the, there were 30,000 students and I think there were two NMR machines. Um, to put that in context also, I asked about another piece of equipment and I said, how, how long is, would I need to wait to use this piece of equipment? Uh, for my master's, it took three months. And here, they sat me down. No, they didn't actually sit me down, but they looked with a serious face and said, Oh, this piece of equipment is our, one of our busiest pieces of equipment. It's used about half the time. And I asked, what do you mean it's used about half the time? I was like, so how long is the waiting list? And they're like, oh no, no, like it's used about half the time. Like it's just, you have to schedule. And I was, <laughs> I was quite surprised. So the main reasons to choose Calist is it's an adventure, like this is a place where you're not going to experience this anywhere else but here at KAUST. Uh, all of us receive a stipend and housing, and so that's pretty nice. And lastly, you have top-notch facilities and top-notch professors. So I'd say KAUST is a small university town, but it's a weird one. Like, there's lots of swimming pools, there's Racket Club, uh, there's plenty of gyms, and probably some of the highest per capita restaurants in the world. Um, and at the end of the day, what that means for me is that uh, I enjoy it here, and I organize my, my life on a weekly basis, because um, sometimes there isn't like the hustle and bustle and easy 
uh, activities to find, so I have clubs that I go to on a weekly basis.